Hello everyone, I'm out in the woods. Can you believe I'm actually putting this tablet up here on a uh, in between a tree? I don't know how how uh, safe that is, but um, hey everyone. Anyway, ah, the woods, huh? A nice place to be, nice and quiet. There may be times we don't want it to be too quiet. By the way, I just disturbed a deer a few minutes ago, Lord bless a deer. So I shall make the video not too long so they can get back to their wanderings. But anyway, I know that many of you have heard about the 411. I'm not sure about everyone has heard about the 411. And about um, missing people and all of that and some of the stories people have said especially that I'm talking about of the flesh gates. And I don't even like to say that too loud. But, <laughs> that being said, since there's only like um, eight acres altogether around here and not all of those eight acres are woods, I think we're probably safe because they seem to enjoy the deeper woods. Still, you never know I hear deer over there. You still never know, you know. Flesh gate could be passing through, so could a Bigfoot, even though they generally you'll find these things. More you'll find the flesh gates in the national forest. Because the national forests are the ones that have multi thousands or millions of acres, right? So anyway. Anyway, the flesh gates are the ones that you hear when people see you can even hear civilization over there, so you're probably not gonna, you know. So I'm pretty safe here. Anyway, um, back to the flesh gates. Never even heard of that term. It, I think it was like a month or two ago when I first started. I've heard of the 411, but I never heard a name to it. You always hear their stories where people say they heard someone they knew calling them. Or even sometimes someone they didn't know calling them. And it would always say, hey, come over here. Or whatever they would say. In that either the person's voice or so when they say, you know, and they would lead them deeper and deeper into the woods. Um, yeah, no, not me. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I think that if something's leaving you deeper into the woods, that's a sure sign things aren't all that really. Something's up about that, you know. Um so, a lot of the, obviously the stories come from the people who don't most likely go. They come back and, um, and they will say usually that all of a sudden the forest gets quiet or the woods or whatever gets quiet. No bugs, no animals, no birds, not even a breeze flutters by. One guy even said it was like the air was silent. All of a sudden, when it wasn't before. And one guy even said the story where, I think it was even in like um, Tennessee, like in some forest in Tennessee. And he said he was doing, it was, he decided to go camping and just be off by himself. It's something a little spiritual for himself, a quiet time. And all of a sudden, he, while he was hiking one day, he heard his, um, and saw his uncle. And he said, come here. And, um, he was thinking, what? <laughs> you know? uh, he heard it and, and his uncle would, it was trying to get him to come way over there. It was like, he said like 50 or 60 yards away, I think he said which really isn't that far away when you consider, you know, that he just got this really pounding feeling within him, this, this gut-wrenching feeling, no, 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 I'm not going to go. So he got out of there fast. He ran. Um, he said that he was 33 years old at the time, and he said his uncle had been dead for 20 years. So he knew that was not his uncle. Now, how it knew his uncle's voice who knows? And it just, it, we know it's a paranormal thing. 
but is it also an alien thing? You have to wonder. It was it was the people who have actually seen them said they are they actually like trees. I'm surrounded by trees here, so um, that if you see something that seems too thin and tall and gray and it's got claws, they say. They they say they especially like to wrap their claws around trees. So, and obviously they want to lure people over there. They think to eat them. I don't know what they want to do. I don't think it can be any good thing because a lot of these people don't come back, right? So, anyway, um, I hear deer over there. They say they make make a screeching noise, uh, sometimes a little chittering or teeth clicking noise. And that's their own noise, obviously. They say also, um, if you're, um, you feel something like there's, you're in a group, let's say, in the woods all of a sudden. It's mostly in the woods anyway. Who's to say it can't, can't be out of the woods. It mostly happens in the woods. And there's, um, sometimes you can hear, um, what am I saying? I'm, I'm paying attention to the deers. <laughs> I'm getting my mind all messed up. They say if you're in a group, for example, and all of a sudden you, um, it feels like there's more people there than there should be, or your friend all of a sudden is not talking right or not acting right. Then you, and then sometimes people have said this, and then all of a sudden that person just disappears, and their actual that actual person will come back, you know. So who knows? Um, yeah, I also have to um, to wonder if it sometimes isn't that that double that they always say that people have. I don't know if flesh gates or anything similar to that. I only know that it doesn't sound like something you want to have around or go too deep in the forest by yourself. Since I don't have to worry about that, I'm not worried about that. Um, I just thought I would do it in the woods since it is a wood forest type of thing. So. Um, it, re it reminds me though that there was something and it happened right here in these in this probably not too far in this around this area right where I'm actually at now um, before the pastures were here or anything when it was mostly just wood trails and things um, I had my Australian cattle dog and uh, bless her now she's been gone for some years now about six or seven but she was a great dog but this is when she was still really young and I was um, walking with her on a leash in the woods on the trail and and she's the kind of dog if you had off the leash good luck finding her you know you could call her and she might come or might not she likes to run well I had her on a leash that time and um, all of a sudden she just stops and almost and she's pulling back and i'm of course i'm like yeah you know come on and she lets out this i mean i've never heard anything like it since this really yelp scream like something just got her and i fast tracked it right back to the house <laughs> I don't know if it was a wild animal, although generally she would probably just growl if it was that. But whatever it was, I did not see it, notice it. I guess it's a good thing she was there. She was like my guardian angel dog at the time. <laughs> but I have never heard the likes of that. I mean, it's like she was torn in half. You know, I mean, just the way it, it, it put, it, I really literally, the hair stood up on the back of my neck, right? I was... That was like, <laughs> I've never been so scared. Anyway, so I don't know enough about these flesh gates. I'm just really learning. But uh, if something calls to you and you know it can't be that person and wants to lure you deep into the woods, don't go. It will be in your best interest not to go. Anyway, so I just wanted to say that and wish you all a wonderful weekend and... Um, over and out.